Hello, my name is Alistair McGregor. I'm Professor at the Institute of Development Studies in the UK and I'm Director of the Bellagio Initiative. I want to welcome you here to this meeting. This is one of a series of meetings that are taking place to explore the challenges to human well-being in the coming decades. We want you to send a message from this meeting to the other meetings that are taking place around the world and to international development agencies, national governments and philanthropic organisations about what they need to do differently and how they need to think differently in order to promote and protect human well-being in the coming decades. Recent events and events of recent years have demonstrated that there are many threats to human well-being. Financial crisis, climate change, pandemics, increased levels of poverty and inequality all represent serious threats to human well-being. But what they highlight in particular is that they are a threat to us living well together. We've all been led to believe that development should enable us to live well. But the real challenge is living well together. The focus on human well-being is a different starting point for your discussion. We encourage you not to engage in the usual and tired international development debates. We encourage you also to get out of your usual ex expert narratives and discourses and rather to work with this new focus on human well-being and on the challenges to living well together. We want you to share in the meeting what you see as the challenges to well-being for the people that you know, for the communities that you work with. We want you to consider and to explain to others what you regard as the main threats to living well together. And we want you to tell us about what innovations that you're aware of. What have you seen in terms of new practices and new ideas that might help us all live better together? Through this dialogue, we want you to tell international agencies, governments, philanthropic organisations, how they should be thinking and acting differently. Why? Because if we don't address these threats to human well-being, we will see increased levels of poverty, we will see increased levels of exclusion around the world, and we will see greater levels of conflict. I wish you well in your discussions, and I look forward to hearing the outcomes and the messages that you send. Thanks very much.